I think it's never too early to start thinking about the care home. Um, if it's somebody who waits too long, uh, that could become a very distressing and stressful situation. When you're looking for somewhere urgently because some crisis has occurred, it's not ideal. Um, that can be um, a very emotive and distressing time for everybody concerned, not just for the resident, the potential resident themselves, but families as well. So planning in advance is a, is a good idea. And that might mean taking some time to talk to uh, the person concerned, but also to the GP or other healthcare professionals who know them, uh, know their medical history, and can identify the kind of care that they would need. So it might be uh, dementia care, it might be care in a residential home, but I think advanced planning is so important. It takes all the stress out of what could be a very difficult situation. It's really interesting about short care uh, stays in care homes because everyone assumes that it's always long-term care. But in fact, many people come to a care home uh, for a short duration. Perhaps they're convalescing after an operation or after some medical event and they just need to be uh, brought up to full fitness before going home again. It might also be that they uh, are requiring some respite care to give their full-time carer a break. And that's really important for maintaining everybody's health and making sure that the, the resident's happy and the carer's restored uh, to full function and, and then they want to um, uh, continue with their care at home. It might also be that someone wants to just try what it's like. Uh, so there's no immediate commitment to selling a property, uh, to moving lock, stock and barrel and, and all the, um, uh, the stress that that involves. Come and try a care home, see if it's something that you enjoy and, and like. And, and very often if the care home is good, uh, it's uh, a one-way uh, decision. It's uh, something that they really embrace and, uh, and it addresses all their worries and apprehensions that it might not be to their liking. So lots of reasons why short-term care is very attractive as well. There are various places you can go to for advice on choosing a care home. First of all, uh, there's the Care Quality Commission, which publishes uh, lists of care homes, um, and they have uh, independent reviews of those online. There's carehome.co.uk. Uh, there's also Age UK. These are good sources of help and information and advice. But also, let's not forget the importance of word of mouth. Um, just hearing from other residents and their families I think is really important. If they're happy and satisfied, that means a great deal. And then of course you've got your own GP, uh, you've got local social services, people who work within uh, the care home. Uh, they will know how things work uh, and uh, what the atmosphere and uh, success rate is. So I think asking them, you, you know, that's a good way of getting excellent information.